What's up, everybody? It's Dr. J coming to you with another one. Uh, we're about to get straight into it. You know what it is. We're talking about solids today, everybody. We're talking about solids. Um, so we've been on this, been on this journey. You know what I'm saying? We talked about gases, we talked about liquids, and now we're to solids. Okay, so solids is a state of matter. Please understand that. And we got a couple of different uh different types of solids here. Okay, and when I'm talking about types, I'm talking about structures in a way. So let's just jump into it. Um, so types of solids or classification of solids. Um, I got these two points here. We got uh, crystalline solids and amorphous. Okay, excuse me, amorphous solids. Okay. Um, so let's talk about these. Uh, this first one, A. This point, hey. Um, talking about crystals here. We're talking about crystals. All right. So. These type of solids are basically, they're going to have the same type of arrangement, all right? You're going to see a similar pattern as you uh, look at these type of solids. So uh, by definition, we look at these crystalline solids as regular arrangement of components in three dimensions, okay? So they're going to have a pattern to them, okay? So typically, uh, when we're talking about patterns with solids, we're talking about salts and diamonds, those are typically where you're going to see a regular pattern, okay? And then we got the other type of solid, amorphous, where this is like, um, it's not no pattern at all. It's disordered. It's kind of chaotic. Now, a good example of these amorphous type of solids, your plastics, your glass, those are like good examples of those. No pattern, okay? Uh, so let's look at the, the just the patterns, okay? Um, so we mentioned crystalline solid. We're gonna have a regular order structure. So we can see in this solid here, right? We got a four, then four, 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 right? So this is actually a specific pattern which we're gonna talk about, but um, this is the type of order that we're gonna see here. Um, and Morpheus, on the other hand, look at this, chaotic. You know, no pattern at all. Look at this, nice and crisp. This is just, you got this guy over here, that guy over here. It's just little all mushed together, okay? So, these two types of patterns, all right, depending on how your solid is made, will give you a type of solid, okay? So you have a regular pattern over and over again. As we see here, you're going to get like a salt or diamond. If you got chaoticness, you know, that's a new word I just made up. But uh, but a whole uh, chaotic type of stuff here going on, right? Uh, disorderness to it. Um, you're going to get a type of solid like glass. This is how glass is usually made or plastics or something like that. Still a solid, but no pattern to them. Okay. Now, because solids, right? Solids are a certain couple of things different from liquids and gases. Uh, solids are going to keep their shape. Okay. So they keep their shape. They're not like the other ones where they either take the shape of the container. So that's how solids are different. But then also, they also keep their volume. So they're similar to liquid in that way to where they're going to keep their volume um, as well. But solids are keeping their volume and shape. Okay. So those are the key things about solid. They keep their volume and their shape. Okay. So because of this, right, keeping their volume and shape, they have this close packing of particles. Okay. So this close packing, this is what we're going to refer to. They're close packed, literally, as it sounds, right? They're squished together. They're right on top of each other. Unlike, unlike our people, like the gases, right? When we're talking about the states of matter with gases, um, they're loose, right? They're free going, right? They're going everywhere, independent. You know, solids, not the case. They're right on top of each other, close packed, okay? And because of this, this is one reason why solids are incompressible okay there go that word again so that means right they're not able to be squeezed down squished together as we looked at the gases from before right they're so close back together there's no they they can't be squeezed anymore together right all the atoms all the molecules are right on top of each other so they're not about to be squeezed on top of each other anymore they're incompressible okay now let's look at this point i always like to look at points uh, the inability of particles to move around results in solids retaining their shape and volume when placed in a new container and prevents the solid from flowing, right? So this is basically what I mentioned before, right? 
Um, they're a solid, so they're going to keep their shape and volume. And because they're keeping their shape and volume, okay, they're not free flowing, just like with the gases. Okay, and this is the key, the key traits to solids: keeping their shape and their volume. Okay, those two things. Thank you.